In the last episode, we took on Hoffenheim at our place and we won 1 0 before taking on St. Johnston at Hampden Park in the League Cup semi final where we won 3 2. And we also took on Hoffenheim in the Europa League at their place and we drew 1 1. Uh, in this episode, we'll take on St. Mirren in the Premiership before taking on Porto in the Europa League before wrapping it up with that cup final up against Owen Coyle's Ross County. Also, some other results in there. The Ross County result in the league. We won 2-0 and we also drew with Dundee 2-2. Edinburgh, home of royalty, culture and tradition. It's also home of two classic Scottish clubs. But there's only room for one of them. Welcome to the pride of Edinburgh. So this is our first match of this video. It's an away game up against St. Mirren in the Premiership. So I'm going to go with this starting 11. Glover and goal, Lazaroni, Hanlon, Erkson, Georgian, McGinn, Adam, McGow, Tillman, Swanson and Quintongo up front. And we are going to go attacking, I think. We're going to go attacking straight from the get-go. So our hosts go with a 3-4-3 of sorts. Let's go. So I think last time Quintongo was in the striker's role, he got four goals. So let's hope the boy can do that again. I think, I don't know where that game that was. Uh, it probably was in the cup, I think. But anyway, Lazzaroni punts it forward to Quintongo. Uh, as St. Mirren built from the back here. Riley, Smith, long range shot. Goes wide. I do have the subs to really go for it in the second half if we need be. Swanson, McGinn, Georgian, McGow, Swanson heads it back. Adam. Tries to set up my man Quintongo Handling back to keep a Glover. Looking for a punt. And it's eventually cleaned up by Swanson. Picks out Tillman out wide. Quintongo has a shot. Goes back for a corner. Adam puts it in there. McGinn gets a go from distance. Sets up someone else. But here come St. Mirren. It's eventually cleaned up by Lazzaroni. Punts it down towards Tillman. Adam loses it. Here comes St. Mirren. Erkstrand. Riley's shot is tipped behind by Glover. And the resulting corner is headed clear. Only as far as a St. Mirren player who punts it over the bar. As we creep recall to the halfway mark. Uh, this could be the last highlight of the half. And it's going to be a St. Mirren one. And that is up and over. And that's your lot. We've got one substitute left in the bank. Should we need to really, really crank it up. We're going two up front uh, with our preferred strike partnership. Tillman, McGinn, his shot is wide. Just just one goal, folks. That's all we need, one goal. Murray, Georgian, Tillman, McGinn. Someone get on it. Tillman has a strike, pushes it behind for a corner. Adam takes it. McGinn gets the rebound. Sets up Adam. Gets a cross in there. Quintongo doesn't need to be up front to score, boys. He needs to be out right. Look at that. That was a cracking goal. Going to take a look at a highlight of that one. Are we? Are we? Yes, we are. No, we're not. It's too slow. Too slow. Eating up the time. Eating up my clock. Anyway, from kickoff, another highlight. Erkstrand cleans up. Glover taking it easy at the back there. Punts it long. And here come St. Mirren, McShane. We are still attacking, which is concerning because they could pick pick us apart if we're not switched on. And Hornby's shot is um, over. Here they come again, but it's broken up by Lazzaroni. Handling to Tillman. McGinn runs with it, has a shot, goes wide. Glover with a goal kick. It looks like a goal kick. Could have been a free kick. Picked up by Georgian. Sets up McGinn. Gets Murray. Georgian has a go. Tillman's there. Heads it straight to Dubai between the sticks. Adam is taken out. Here comes St. Mirren with Riley. Smith. Punts it forward for Hornby. Glover's big. And he blocks it. Keeps us in this game. It's important. We have to re really win these, these games. Because I think St. Mirren are, oh, dare I say it, Dare I say it? You know what I mean. You know where I'm going with this. You know where St. Mirren are. But we should be beating these kind of teams. I said it. I said it. Whew. Adam takes it. Headed clear. We have that one substitute left. Still not going to use it. McGinn. That shot is horrific. Free kick for St. Mirren. There McGinn puts it up and wide. Begin for us. Lazzaroni, Tillman, dances around, sets up Adam. Fez has, should have should have put that away, but he doesn't. 
the last 10 minutes just to hang on we shouldn't be oh that was that was that was a chance that was a chance by St. Mirren corner Adam comes back out to McGinn Adam floats in there Quatongo Tillman cool as you like but he couldn't get his header on target Glover goal kick punts it long towards Murray he gets good control on it McGinn Adam Tillman blocked it'll be a throw Lazzaroni takes it to Adam Quintongo get a cross in there son get a cross in the Tillman oh my goodness they, they have to half asleep they're half asleep they're already thinking about the next game they're playing playing snooker Murray Fez McGinn double shots but they can't get in the back of that the 19 shot it's been pretty tight if you look at the statistics McGinn's shot makes the keeper parry and it'll go out for a throw in the dying seconds of the match Adam to McGinn just hold up play with you just just waste some time Tillman get across in there across the face of goal and we are down to the last 20 15 seconds punted long low for St. Mirren and that's your lot folks we walk away cheekily with a point um, sorry all three points you gotta win what's in front of you and that win my friends keeps us into second spot uh got our noses ahead of rangers they do have a game in hand um but right now i'm i'm happy with the way the season's going obviously uh it's not perfect uh, celtic have that huge lead on us already so for the second game of this video it's a home match up against porto in the europa league group c win it and we could go through to the next round uh, i forgot to press record as i was doing my intro so you missed like a couple minutes but we i caught it just in time um so yep this is the match this is the lineup glover and goal lazar only hand and ambrose georgian mcginn adam mcgow tillman murray and fez up front and our visitor is going with a four two three one Let's go. So, Porto, get the match underway. They beat us at their place last time. But we did the damage up against Hoffenheim. We took a point at their place and we won at Easter Road, <laughs> which was like the last kick of the game. It was unbelievable. Um, and those results are the ones that are probably going to decide our fate if we're going to actually get through to the knockout stages, which would be absolutely crazy. I thought getting to this stage with Hibs was going to be a kick-ass adventure but if we can just go to that next level um we might i'm just gonna steady yourselves now because what i'm looking at the possibility is is some cracking um double header against maybe a fallen giant that didn't make you know a, a team that, that fell from the champions league you know maybe a liverpool or a or something like that i'm not sure i haven't looked at the, the situation of the groups in the uh, Champions League, so it's, I'm not sure what's available if that's going to be the case. But we've got to get there first, and first and foremost, we're here against Porto and playing okay. Miguel shot eventually goes over. I'll take a point gladly, which would leave us on eight, and then we take on Ludo Gretz in the final game, which they've not been great. Twenty minutes in, and we are we're matching Porto, which is quite balmy. We are attacking though. I just noticed that. I thought we might be uh, saving that, but we're going for it. Tillman, shot goes wide, and just around the corner, folks, is the uh, League Cup final. My first opportunity to actually win a bit of silverware. Oh, what a shot! What a save by Glover. Glover has. You know, he's, he's on loan from Tottenham and he's he's pretty been pretty decent for us. Marciano, obviously, first choice last season. Um, not not um, content with being second fiddle and Tillman's weak effort is held by Vindema. 30 minutes gone, we're still in it. Fez. Punts it long now by Porto. Ambrose cleans up. McGinn. Murray sets up Georgian, who's come far and Adam's shot is wide. Lazzaroni, Tillman, Adam. He's he's having a go. It's Charlie boy. Lazzaroni, Adam, Tillman. Punts it forward. Try to get Fez, but no joy. Here come Porto, Sergio, Souza, Octavado. Texieria's shot is wide. Um, I don't know what else is going on. I'm going to try and filter down and have a look in a minute. Adam gets another go. 
Oh, that's a free kick. And Vindema boots it for Porto towards Sosa. Eventually comes back to Octavio. Sergio. Rui Perez picks up Lorio who gets a cross in there. Headed clear by Ambrose. And the returning shot goes over. And Glover will boot this goal kick towards Fez. Comes back to Georgian. To Murray. Adam. His shot. Does it take a ricochet? No. Vindema now for Porto. Boots it long to Octavio. Breaks up low. Tillman. Adam. McGow picks out Murray with some space. Gets a cross in there. No one's really on it. And here come Porto uh, building from the back here. But Fez intercepts. And his shot goes up and over. McGinn boots it long towards Fez. Tillman picks it up. Murray tries to set Fez on a run. Can he get it right second time around? No. Vindema blocks him. Let's try and get down here. Hoffenheim 2-0 up against Ludo Gretz. Um, keeping up the pressure. Obviously with us. Uh, they could... Uh, squeeze in if we slip up um, against Ludo Gretz. Fez. Miguel sets up Murray. If you hear the dog in the background, she's getting excited for me because Hibs are actually looking pretty decent out there. Just that final end product. And maybe, no, not this time. As the halftime whistle approaches, we're in this game. It's 0 0 though. So the second half gets underway. Hibbs kick us off. Ambrose to Murray. McGow. Adam. I'm not sure what I'd do to, to, to change things if we do go behind, which we could have done right there because Porto have come out with the bit between their teeth. Takes area. Andre. Shot is just wide. Glover was outstretched. He probably would have had it. Uh, they've got an injury. Forced into their second substitution of the day with still 30 odd minutes to go. Vindema with a goal kick, punts it long towards Andre, heads it back. Uh, Chesadoids, Hernani, shot is wide. Tillman, Miguel, blocked, Lazzaroni. Corner for Adam. It's poor as Porto break from the corner. Sousa, back to Andre. Hernani's shot is wide. Is that his name? Hanani, it is. Last 24 minutes of this match. A draw would be pretty impressive. Up again. In fact, it leaves leaves us the possibility of actually winning the group. If uh, if Hoffenheim can do a number on Porto, which I'm sure they're capable of. And we also got it it, it it's it it's gonna be very interesting that last that last European game against uh, Ludo Gretz and and Porto and Hoffenheim. So it'll be uh just see how that pans out but still 15 minutes left to go if <laughs> look at the hibs players they're all nervous at the moment free kick oh it's clear tillman will break he just gets rid of it murray highland and rose towards murray porto now trying to build but fez has it picks up georgian murray has a shot and vindema has to push it over Corner, Adam takes it, McGinn, Tillman, McGow, he turned, it looked so promising, Georgia now with a throw, last seven minutes, do not make a mistake, Georgia in there picking up the pieces, we've attacked the whole match against Porto, we've given it our all, four minutes of injury time, I'm going to risk it. Through the dice, it might come to nothing. Oh, Glover with a supersonic save. And the following corner amounts to nothing. Glover out of his box, picks it up. Is that it? Have we done it? I won't say done it. We've not done anything. We just drew against Porto. And we have. We've drawn against Porto. Massive result. Look at the, look at the statistics, though. 21 shots compared to 19. Uh, yeah, it's, that was a, a good result. So this is the situation in Group C. We currently find ourselves in second spot and we take on Ludo Gretz in our final game, I believe, and it's at their place. It's going to be tricky. They've, uh, they've drawn two of their games. Uh, as for Hoffenheim, they take on Porto at Porto. A win for them, uh, depending on the goal. If they win 2-0, they could possibly 
squeezing the back door as well. It's, 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 it's all up in the air. It's all up in the air. So here we are, folks, with the third game of this video. And I would say probably the biggest game of our season thus far. It is the League Cup final up against Owen Coyle's Ross County. Oh, how I want to win this one. Oh, how I really want to do some damage over these punks. Um, in fact, let's take a, I'm trying to have a look when we last won it. We last won this in 2006-2007. Current champions are Celtic. They've won it for the past two seasons. Ross County have won it only a couple, like three seasons ago. So uh, they'll be uh, looking to get their hands back on it. So it's not going to be a pushover. Uh, but let's get straight into the thick of things. And let's, let's, let's have a look at the boys. So my start 11 for this match looks like this. Glover and goal, Lazar only, Hanlon, Erkstrom, George and McGinn, Silva, Tillman, Kuntongo, Murray and Fez. On the bench, uh, I'm going to make some changes here. So our opponents are going with a 4-4-2. And we are at a Hamden Park. It looks like it's a sellout. So let's go, boys. Let's kick off the final of the League Cup. Can we, can we get some silverware? Keep some of these guys happy. Keep my happy. Keep the board happy. Uh, and that would, I think, would that guarantee European football for next season already? In what month is it? November, something like that. That will be a, a, a relief. Fifteen minutes gone. Georgian to Quintongo down the line. Murray, Silvica, McGinn. He's got Fez in there. And he's offside. A little bit of a, a little bit of heart and mouth situation. Silverka to Murray picks him out. He's got boys with him, but he loses it. Keller done now. Puts it long towards Dow. Erkstrom cleans up and gives it to Glover. What's he going to do with it? Make, pick, hopefully picks a good pass towards Fez. McGinn picks it up. Murray sets up Silverka. Georgian gets a cross in there. Could someone get a shot on it. Tillman, Fez. Everyone has a go, but just can't get it in the back of the net. Erkstrom, Tillman, McGinn, Quintongo. That's horrific, boy. Just over 25 minutes gone in the cup final. And it's a pretty tight affair. But here comes Hibbs, Tillman towards Fez, Silverka. His shot is uh, weak. Fox kicks out the goal kick. Urkshin, Fez to Murray. Oh, if that, it, got, it landed on the right person's feet. Um... Because Murray is my main man. Tillman. Towards Fez. His shot is tipped over by Fox. It'll be a corner. McGinn will take it. Head of clear. Tillman cleans up. Has another go. Crosses in there. Comes eventually out to Tillman once again. Dazzling around the Scottish or the Ross County defence. But Dow on the other end. Counter-attacking just wide. Glover was there though. 35 minutes gone. We are on top, but here comes a free kick from Ross County. Keller done. Thomas Glover's forced into an immense save. Keeps the ball out. It'll be a corner. And Callaghan will take it. Keller done. Callaghan. Lazaroni was pushed. We free kick for Hibbs. Some nerves coming through the Hib camp. Hibernian camp. Corner. Floated in there. Comes out to Georgian. Gets out to Tillman. Silverga slips in. Quintongo shot straight at Fox, who pushes it by for another corner. It's floated in there. Comes to Silverka who gives it away, and it's just booted clear by Ross County. Georgian, Murray, McGinn has a shot, it's wide. 45 minutes gone, it's just about to approach to half time. It's good, but it's not great. And that's your half. Second half gets underway, Hibbs still looking for a goal, as are Ross County, Quintongo. Shot comes out for a throw. Still nerves creeping into the Hibernian camp. They are looking really, really nervous. I think because of the amount of pressure they've had. Ross County keeping level heads. I'm going to be looking at changes around about the 65 minute mark. I'm going to give them extra five. And I'm looking at maybe Charlie Adam. Maybe Boyle, Batman, Madden. Corner for Ross County. Comes to Tillman. He clears it partially. Eventually cleared by Hanlon. Keller Dunn tries to keep it alive. But Quintongo keeps it alive for Hibbs over the top of Fez. Got a lot of work to do. Hits Fox. It'll be a corner. We're approaching around about a 65-minute mark. McGinn lets it go for a throw. Let's make some changes. We're still attacking. We can still keep it is, as is. So, some changes coming on. Free kick. Draper's shot over the top. So, we take up a lot of three nervous players and brought on three composed players. Maybe if I give them some 
Words of Wisdom. Thomas Curran. Naismith Draper. Lazaroni clears it for Fez to chase. I want to pick my words wisely. Don't like this long, long highlight though. Show some passion. Now my substitutes are looking nervous. Unbelievable. Lazaroni, Swanson, Adam. Sets up Fez. Shooting from distance. It's not the answer. Curran. Naismith. I don't like this dominance by Hibbs, and we're just going to choke. All right, the second. Fez keeps alive. Silverka. Murray to Fez. His shot looked like it was tipped over, but it was a goal kick. Thomas now for Ross County. Silverka. Hanlon cleans up. Lazaroni punts it long, but no one really going to get on this one. Swanson, though, keeps alive. And Murray. Murray to Adam. To Swanson. T towards Fez, but no joy. Lazaroni gets another go. It will be a throw for Hibbs. But it looks like it amounts to nothing. Last 15 minutes of the game. Free kick. Adam to Murray. His shot is blocked. It will be a corner. Adam will take it. Comes back up to Murray again. Back to Adam. Get another cross in. Not good enough, I'm afraid. The nerves are all over the place, especially on the Hibernian side. As we're trying to find the goal, hopefully, that will win this stinking trophy. Swanson. Murray. Shot. Comes back out of Lazzaroni. He gets a cross in. Fox collects. 21 shots. Seven on target. It just smells like we're going to get done over here at the last second. Dot com by Ross County Draper loses it. Swanson to Adam to Fez. If he plays it across, if he had played it across to flipping Murray, that would have been in the back of that silver cut from the corner. Can he get a cross in? No, it'll be a throw. It looks like we're creeping and crawling to the 90 minute mark. I think that gives us an extra substitution. Adam towards Murray. Keller done. Cleaned up by Hanlon. Sets up Fez. Got a lot of work to do. Once again, back to Adam. To Swanson. Get a cross in. Murray was in prime position. And he chokes at the end. And we're getting to the three minutes of injury time. Erkstrand. Adam. Murray. To Swanson. Get a cross in there. Boyle. Ooh, that would have that would have been that would have been magical. Fox punts it long. Lazzaroni. Swanson. Adam. Fez. Get a cross in there. Murray! time would you believe it i was just thinking about the substitutions or the substitution i could have made fez dinks it across murray right on the money murray right on the money and that should be should be the lot if we can just play wise football which obviously we are hibs and we are my manager and we are flapping around like no man's business can we please Cool it. Cool it. Oh, big tackle there by George and gives him a corner. It gives him a bit of hope. O'Brien takes it in there. Silverka. It's over. It's over. Look at the celebrations for Hibs. Baby, we have got our first trophy in the cast. That's massive. That is absolutely massive. Ah, uh, the boys celebrating. We dominated. We really did dominate. I was quite surprised that it was only 1-0 in the end. Uh, who got man of the match? Uh, Hanlon for his defensive duties. Murray with the important goal. And Fez with the assist. Uh, wow, wow, we wow. So there we have it, folks. We are League Cup winners. Let's take a look at holders. It's in there in your blue and white. Um, massive, massive boost to the morale all around. So, some bonuses to these boys. They're burning at 200k for that one. And my old boy Mowbray praises my spirit. Thanks, Chief. And there you have it. In the, we're top of the pop. Well, not top of the pops. We're just, we're just league champions. League Cup champions, boys. And we, we, we did this. We achieved that. Uh, bonuses all round. And uh, fair play to us. We are champions of something. I think that guarantees some European football. Uh, I don't know. Not 100% sure. Anyway, in the next video, we will take on Hamilton in the Premiership. Then Rangers. No, we're not. In the next video, we'll take on Rangers in the Scotch Prem. Then we'll take on Ludo Gretz in the last game of our Europa League. Hopefully, we can do enough to get to the knockout stages. Then it's another Edinburgh Derby at Easter Road. So you'll miss this Hamilton game, but I'll bring you up to speed when we meet again. If you've enjoyed this video, you might want to check out my other two game saves. Glory on the Rhine featuring Schalke and Nulfia, And Reach for the Summit featuring Real Sociedad. Until next time, thumbs up, 
subscribe. Ciao for now.